Knock him into the void. Oh, oh my goodness. Hey, stay back. Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 2 of my Beginner's Guide to Hypixel Bed Wars. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. A lot of you gave me a lot of positive feedback, so I'm pretty excited to continue recording. Today we are going to talk about speed bridging. Now most Bed Wars players in 2024 can speed bridge. And since this is a beginner's guide, in case you don't know how to bridge, I'm going to teach you both speed bridging and all the different types of bridging that I can think of. So the first thing we're going to do, you're in a Bed Wars lobby, right? Go to this practice mode, click on bridging, and it takes you to this little island with a bed and your goal is to get to the other side here. Now, when people usually start out, um, especially if they've played a lot of survival uh, survival Minecraft, they'll just go to the edge and then they'll slowly place blocks and just hold their, their right mouse button. And by the way, I have key strokes on so that you can see when I'm pressing WASD, left clicking, right clicking when I hit space. Unfortunately, there's not a button for shift, but the reason I include a hand cam here is so that you can see when I press shift. So hopefully that's good enough. So most people, they just kind of hold their button. As you can see, press either just S, A and S or A and or S and D or whichever. So they can bridge. But this is, as you can see on the right hand side, is very slow. It's like one and two thirds blocks per second. It's not very fast. Now, if you speed bridge, which can be a lot faster, you see we're going at least twice as fast as that, which you want to be going, you want to be bridging super fast when you're in Better Wars games because you don't want to waste any time when possible. So I'm going to teach you how to speed bridge. So check this out. Now, the first thing you want to do is you line yourself up on the edge of whatever platform you're going to be bridging from. I personally like to use A and S when I bridge instead of S and D, just because like if you look over here on my, in my hand, if you hold A and S and shift, then all three fingers are just like that. And that way you have one free finger to switch to block, switch blocks if you need to, or to switch your hotbar. So that's why I prefer that. Of course, lots of there's lots of better worse players that do so like this. I just feel like this makes it really tight, and you don't have a lot of mobility with your ring finger here. Um, so that's just an aside about which fingers I prefer to use. Now, being able to bridge in either direction is fine. Um, <laughs> you're gonna. It, it, it saves you time from having to like move your mouse just to reposition yourself. So now if we get started here, you line yourself up. I, I tend to hold shift as I'm jumping close to the block. So like I hold shift and then I press A and S. It's so like this. Watch my keystrokes and, and try and watch my pinky as well. So like that. That way I line myself up. Oh, I fell off. Sometimes that happens. I line myself up and that way I'm pretty diagonal here. The first step to speed bridging is you hit right click, let go of shift for a second. Keep in mind, you're probably going to be holding A and S this whole time. Um, and then as you get to the close, close to the edge of the block, you press shift again. So you, you place a block, unshift, move back. And right before you get to the end, you shift again like this. And if it helps, you can take a look at my three fingers over here. Remember, A and S I'm holding the entire time, and I just, I place a block, and press shift right as I'm going back to the edge of the block. The key here is rhythm. Um, it's not about spam clicking or spam shifting or anything like that, because you'll see some people who try to bridge and they go, I don't know, they, I don't, I'm not even sure what they do, they're just like, they're like, spamming shift and that just that doesn't work. The timing for this is since I'm holding shift in A and S, I usually let go of shift at the same time that I right click. So like that. And I only let go of shift for a split second because I mean you travel to the end of the block again pretty quickly. So just try that out. So you click and let go of shift at the same time while holding A and S. Like that. Watch my camera. Of course, this isn't very fast because we're going slowly, but over time you can start to speed it up just like that. So I'm going to show you what an entire speed bridge would look like. And as you can see, I've never hit a personal best because I've never tried bridging all the way through. So let's try this out. There we go. We made it to the other side in just over 10 seconds. So, the rhythm you gotta keep is let go of shift and click at the same time, just like that, and then 
almost immediately you press shift again. Just give yourself just enough time to get to the edge of the block. Practice it slowly, and over time, you'll get a little bit faster. It feels really good to build a bridge quickly. If you have any questions, let me know, and I can try and go a little bit more in depth um, if there's anything I've missed that you want to hear. Now, the next thing we're going to do is talk about the different types of bridges. So I was just flat bridging there, right? That was pretty standard, just bridging in one direction, and that was it. Now, what I like about this, uh, this mode here is that you can change the distance, make it 50 blocks away, make it 64, make it infinite. So the next thing I'm going to teach you is how to make a staircase, or what we call one stacking. You see, we're all the way up there. So you start at the edge. This one's kind of fun because you can actually hold right click. You don't actually have to time it. You can kind of get the timing here. This is just um, changing space. Let me see if I can explain this this a better way. When I do that, I tend to spam click or butterfly click. And you can see how fast that is. Um, but when I first started playing Bed Wars, it was pretty simple. I would You can either click like that. And the thing is, you don't even have to let go of shift, to be honest. Um, you can just press space. Now, if you do want it to go faster, that's when you would need to time your shift a little bit. Oop. We just hit the bottom of that. So let's try this again. We're gonna hold shift the whole time and just jump and just be clicking at a standard speed, like five or six CPS. Pretty easy, huh? Let me speed up. It'll look a little more like that. You could probably figure that one out on your own though. There we go, 17 seconds. So that's called one stacking. You usually want to use that when somebody is, if they're bridging high and you need to make some, create some, oops, create some elevation. You can also just tower up like that, which is a little bit boring, but you could try that. But this is a pretty easy method and I find it's very hard to fall as long as you're clicking fast enough or just timing. If you're not like letting go of shift and you just time your spaces correctly, you can jump and stack up pretty easily. And we're going to make the elevation a little bit slight here. I'm going to teach you what's called two stacking, which what we were doing is one stacking. You can see one to one ratio, basically. Now, two stacking is what they do in Ranked Bed Wars. What you do is you place two blocks and then build up. Oops. There's just one block of space. That gives you a little bit extra room for jumping and stuff. This is called two stacking. Now I tend to prefer three stacking, which is even a little bit different. You place two blocks and then you go up. So you see there's three blocks for each level basically. If I need to run back on the bridge or something, I can just hold space and go up pretty easily without having to jump so many times and not go quite as fast. If that makes sense. You know, there's four stacking as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Which that's even even easier. That way you can just hold space for the most part when you jump up. So if you have any questions about those, let me know. Sometimes when you're doing Bed Wars duels, you'll bridge up two blocks. I guess you could call this half stacking or something. And that way when somebody tries to go up it, they can just place a ladder on the top of each block. Um, and that way it's it's a little bit faster to gain elevation than one stacking, but that's pretty situational, so you don't usually need to use that. Now, the next section we're gonna be talking about is diagonal bridging. This is pretty uh, pretty common of a skill, because um, a lot of times you don't just rush, you don't just bridge forward or to the side, you have to bridge diagonally. Now, what you don't wanna do is just bridge all the way out to here and then turn and then keep bridging because that's kind of, I mean, it looks weird and it's not as straight of a path. What you want to do is start on the edge here, line yourself up. It doesn't have to be exactly on, on the corner because that could mess you up. You just want to be somewhere along near the edge here. You place two blocks and then go back. Two blocks, two blocks. Oops. And uh, as you can see, the interval for when you need to let go of shift and then press it again is a little bit higher. Oops. You don't need to press A and S, you just need to press S. So you can time these. This tends to be a little bit easier of a, a bridging method. If you look at my keystrokes mod and keyboard, you can see I'm just pressing S, go backwards, 
you can pl place two blocks at a time. Um, of course, you can tap A or S if you, or A or D if you feel like you're drifting off to one side too much, like I sometimes do. Yeah, I almost missed it there. Um, I prefer to butterfly click like that. Also, by the way, your bridge doesn't have to be exactly perfectly diagonal in one direction. If it deviates off to a side, it's not a big deal. The most important thing is that you don't fall, really. A lot of times, Bed Wars Sweats will just continuously butterfly click and just time the shift like that. That's usually what I end up doing because that tends to be a little bit faster. New personal best, look at that. So that's pretty easy. That's diagonal bridging. Now, of course, you can combine that with some elevation. Go to the side. On some maps where you have to rush diagonally, like um, like on Steampunk or Ashfire, um, some of those like backwards diagonal rushes, I find placing two blocks and then going up again like that in this fashion. Pretend this block is over here, just ignore that. Um, I feel like it's pretty easy because you have some space to jump, you're not likely to fall off, and you can make it to the edge. So if we try that again, There we go. Now, another note I want to make. You do not need to be able to double click. You don't have to have a mouse that double clicks in order to bridge. So what I mean by that is usually when you, you click just once and it's just one CPS, right? But double clicking is you hit it in such a way or at such, which such force that it ends up bouncing or the, the switch ends up bouncing like that. So you see on my keystrokes, even though I moved my, my finger only once, it ended up, oops, double clicking. It's a little bit easier on the, there we go, double clicking. You don't have to be able to do that in order to bridge. It can help, I guess, because you know, it's like the difference between 12 CPS and like 20 or so, which by the way, you do not need to click 20 CPS in order to be a good bridger by any means. In fact, you don't even have to be able to spam click. Um, if you just time your clicks, that is more than okay. Um, Gamerboy80, when he bridges, he just holds his mouse button and the only thing he times is his spacebar. Now that's a little bit slower and I don't really know how he bridges up, but if that works for you, I'm pretty sure he's like the only person in the Bed Wars community that bridges like that. But if that works for you, then by all means. Um, i trying to think if there's any other types of bridging. I think that's about it. For Bed Wars, that's really all you need. Let's jump into a game so I can show you what some of these bridging techniques look like. Okay. Join a game of solos. Playground. This is a good map for showing different types of bridges because you have to build up, you have to diagonal bridge. This is a perfect map. Okay, here we are. We're gonna need probably about a stack and a half just to be safe of blocks. We go into the item shop here. We can put our gold away. Shopaholic, look at that. Buy 100, 750 items in Bed Wars. That's awesome. All right, so let's go to the side here. I'm gonna try and keep my mouse within, uh, within the camera. So you can see I kind of did like a combination of three stacking or whatever. That's good for building height. Now we might want a diagonal bridge over. We could just jump over here. Okay, he tried to speed bridge, but he's, I guess, not quite as good. Ooh. All right, we're pretty close to his base. So now we'll just bridge normally over. Is he here? Did he disconnect? He did. All right, well, that's another another free stat for us. <laughs> Let's get more blocks. What you don't want to do is bridge, diagonal bridge all the way across the map. That's, whoa. What's white doing? I don't like what white is doing. He's like frozen. Did he go AFK or something? I'm confused. He just totally went AFK on us. Let's buy a trap. We're going to get some end stone and we also need a pickaxe. There's a basic, basic defense. So now we have some height. So even if he wanted to fight us, he'd have to, he'd have to build up first. He's frozen. Oh my goodness, he's so laggy. All right, let's get our pickaxe. First blood. So the first person to kill someone in a Bed Wars game? Yeah. Oh look, we just went up 
one level. It's, did he die? Okay, he totally disconnected. All right, let's buy some iron armor. Let's get a fireball and more blocks. With any luck, we won't fall in the void. Does he have a trap? He does not. Oh my gosh, he has a sharp iron sword. That was crazy. All right, well, we got him. Let's go back to mid and make sure nobody's rushing us. Red and blue are still fighting. Green and yellow have not left their bases. So that means we probably need to go for... Wait, we don't have to go for anyone. We can do whatever we want. What is he doing? We're going to fight him. Oh, he has sharpness. Okay, good. We can just blow up his defense with some TNT. Knock him into the void. Huh? Oh my goodness. Okay. We're going to deposit these emeralds. Hey, stay back. Okay. He's gone. If you ever don't want a bridge, here's a, here's a trick. You go to utility, you buy a bridge egg. Just one emerald. It's super sweet. What are you doing? That guy's stacked. Okay. It's gonna take a little bit longer than I expected, but that's fine. One thing I like to do is if I'm rushing somebody and I have a bridge egg, I can just place the throw the bridge egg over them. That way I get some free height. Place the TNT. I'm gonna build up so it doesn't knock me off. Place another TNT. Just in case the first time doesn't doesn't do the trick. Okay, we died. Let's grab some diamonds. And now let's see if we can. Oh, he did not go as quickly as I expected. Alright, we have prot 2 now. Probably should have bought sharp, but that's fine. We're gonna try and take out red now. Oh, get wrecked. Fireball jump up. Merciless. Final kill five enemies in one game. That's why they call me Merciless. Alright, we're gonna get another fireball, because fireballs are just so overpowered. We gotta go over to green, right? Yep. Alright, we have a couple options here. We can diagonal bridge. See, this is kind of long, though. And I might not necessarily like that. So if we place the TNT here and then jump at the last second, that will take us all the way over to here. Um, this water is somewhat of a problem. Whoa. Look at that one stack. Not, not one stack, that tower. Oh. He definitely got us. That was embarrassing. All right. Time to go sweat mode on him. And we're also probably going to get some sharpness as well. Just like, I, I, I feel like that would be very helpful. I think we have this game in the bag, if you ask me. By sharpness, there we go. But we're gonna, we're gonna do what we did last time. We got two emeralds. We're gonna get jump potion and a bridge egg. Do we think he's left his base? No, he's over there. All right, we don't really need these emeralds. We're gonna drink our jump potion. We're gonna throw our bridge egg. Save us a lot of time here. He's gonna fireball. How many fireballs does he have? It's okay. He's got more fireballs. All right. Here we go. Bomber. Got the bed? I think we blew him off. Yeah, we did. We won. GG. That is the power of good bridging. We made lots of bridges and we won the game. Looks like we are almost to Bed Wars level two, which is pretty insane. Just like we're at Hypixel level two. Let me know if you have any more questions about bridging. I can't do anything like God bridging. I'm not that good. I might be able to drag click a little bit. Actually, let's try it. Let's see if we can God bridge at all. Can't believe I'm doing this. Ah, nope. The answer to that question is a hard no, I cannot go bridge. <laughs> if you like this video, leave a like, comment your favorite part, comment what helped you, um, if, you felt, if you felt like this guide was useful or would be useful if you didn't know how to bridge already. Let me know what else you'd like to see in this guide and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.